Hey everybody, hi, this is Dr. Pamela. I'm back to teach you a little bit more about God's time calendar in the fall feasts. And number one, I wanna say that the feasts come around every year. And in fact, there's a word in Hebrew um, and I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. So I'm just gonna spell it, but it's C-H-A-G. And some of us say Chag, Chag, Ha, I don't know how exactly to say it. Um, anyways, one of the meanings there has to do with like ongoing, circular, continuous, okay? So every year, these feasts come because they always come back around. And so when we come to Rosh Hashanah, or Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, however you want to say it, once we come to that every year, God is saying, once again, you've made it around the sun, okay? And so there's always a new positioning every year. And this year, that new positioning has to do with what? change, choice, decision, expansion, breakthrough. Man, so much here. So here we are in this new place, this new position. And, and, and we've entered into what the Jewish people will call the days of awe. Now it's not the days of awe or the days of awe. It is the days of awe, all right, which is a place of humility, um, but also a place of self-reflection and that brings us into that place of positioning with joy and excitement for our future. Now, during these days of awe, there's a lot of looking inside that happened uh, to the Jewish people of repentance and making things right. Now, repentance isn't just about like repenting from sin, but it means a new way of thinking. It means changing um, your thought pattern. So if we're gonna change our thought pattern, that is gonna change your circumstances, okay? So when we, what we think about, we bring about. And so in that area of repentance, we're coming back to a higher level of thinking, which is going to change how we process everything. It's gonna change our, what our position, okay? Literally change our thinking, change your life. So I have a little list here of things I'd like to go through with you that you might choose through the days of awe to really think about, reflect on, pray about, get quiet on. So number one, coming back to centering up on God. Where is your relationship at with him really? Is it where you think he wants it to be? Sometimes we say, oh, it's not where I want it to be. You know what, what I want doesn't matter in this aspect. Is it what he wants your relationship? to him to be. So number one, we start there because in repentance, we're coming back to him, right? And not just in this way of, oh, I'm just, I'm so sorry, I've messed everything up. No, in a way of I'm changing my thinking to climb myself back up to be able to see things from your vantage point and fulfill the call of God upon my life, all right? The call as a person, as a parent, as a sibling, as, as an employee, as an employer, as a minister, as a friend, as, as a business owner, as a coach, as an author, as a doctor, whatever it is, all right? Coming back to that higher perspective, okay? If you see me look down, I'm looking at my notes to make sure we get through everything. When we choose to repent, which is again, again what the days of awe is all about, it changes the trajectory of our life. Remember this new positioning. God has said, I put you here now, choose. And so now as we have that choosing new thoughts, which is what the repentance is, it literally changes the trajectory of our lives and puts us going in the right position. So. Here are things to reflect on. Number one, I said your relationship with God. Now consider your life, all parts of it, your physical life, your health, your relationships, your money, 
whatever it is, take some time every day now and reflect on it. Get in quiet with God and saying, okay, what about my temper? Hello, what about my marriage? What about the fact that I kind of get, you know, short with people? What about the bad spending? Now, I'm saying some things that might be sound like, oh, that's so negative. But here is a time where we can do that honest self-reflection before the God of the entire universe and get some assistance in self-discovery to turn us to begin to go in another direction because what we're repenting, we're changing the way we think and the way we live and the way we behave. Now we're going to get quiet and we're going to say, okay, so now I'm in that relationship, that I've been challenged with, where would I like to see it go? And we can close our eyes, we use our imagination that God gave to us, and we imagine it going in the way that it is supposed to be going. We imagine our money coming to us and it being used as God wanted it to be used, right? We imagine that temper no longer being an issue anymore. And from this place, we're gonna to begin to take action steps. We're gonna to begin to take action steps towards our next best that God has for us. So we're going to reflect, okay? We are going to reflect on what God has for us, and then we're going to begin to move the needle in that direction with His help, because we're considering our life and making it better for His glory. This is a time to the Jewish people where they're going to take stock and they're going to make change. And so I want to ask you today, have you taken stock? Have you looked around and kind of added some things up to see what's working and what's not and what you need to change and make a different decision? Because this repositioning of heaven is to push you out into the next best place for you. All right. These 10 days of awe are supposed to set you up for your future. New Year's came, we stepped into it. God said, here's the position I have for you. Here's the special uniqueness for you within this year. The calling is calling. Now reflect on this, begin to be introspect with it, begin to uh, make the change and understand that you are using this and it is pushing you out into your future. Yes, God wants to meet with you right now. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you do want to meet with each of us to make us better because you have dreams so big and so grand. And it is in this season you want us to sneak away with you so that the trajectory can put us on course for the purpose by design. 5783, the year of breakthrough and expansion. So I thank you now, Lord, for each person under the sound of my voice that they're saying yes to you, yes to these 10 days setting time away, getting out their journals, Lord, and beginning to go deep within and deep without, meaning going up into your presence and deep within themselves. Thank you, Lord, so much for their lives and for the call on them. Thank you for changing that trajectory where it needs to be changed. Thank you for positioning each one for greatness. In the name above all names, I pray, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus our King. See you next time. I'm in awe. How about you?